On this episode of Matt Covers Tech, we talk about my favorite flashlights. That's coming up next. Stick around. Well, welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you here again. Today we're going to talk about my favorite flashlights. Now, these are flashlights that I have found to be useful over the years, some more recently than others, some I've had for a really long time. And uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to have three categories, carry, kit, and keep at home. Those are the three, all right? So let's start out with carry. Speaking of many years, this is what I have carried for many, many years in my pocket. This is a MicroStream by Streamlight. It's not very fancy, but it has been through the wash several times, and I have had this since 2015. It's simple to change the battery on. It just takes one AAA. You just take the back off, drop the battery in, and I even use these cheap AC Delco ones uh, because they just work pretty well and they don't cost an arm and a leg. Uh, I cannot say that it's waterproof, but um, like I said, it's been through the wash and it still works. It's very bright, and frankly, um, if you compare this to, let's say, the flash on your phone, there is no comparison. This is a heck of a lot brighter than that. A great thing to keep in your pocket for whenever you might need a light, and it comes up quite a bit. Moving on to the kit option. <clears throat> now, this one comes with this Velcro holster. And it also has this Velcro belt clip that you can wear should you find that necessary. Now, I don't wear this on my belt. This is part of my kit. Some people might call it a go bag. Some people might call it a range bag. <clears throat> uh, in any case, this is the Streamlight ProTac HL. Now, this is much more powerful than the MicroStream. I mean, you could probably figure that out. However, um, there's some downsides to this. And there's some upsides to it. It's more powerful, but obviously it's a lot bigger. Now, if you're wearing a duty belt, this might be fine to put on your belt. It's not, you know, comparatively, it's not that big. Um, but if you're not wearing a duty belt, this is a little too big to put in a pocket. It is much brighter, and it has a multifunction switch. So this has uh, your regular beam, and then you can do a lower beam, and a strobe. Let me see if I can get the lower beam. There's the lower beam, which can save your batteries, um, and that's cool. But it has that strobe too, which um, serves purposes that we won't get into on this channel. I don't want to get demonetized, but you understand. Now, another downside of this particular flashlight is it takes odd batteries. I think these are called C123As. Let me double check that. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, C123A. 3 volt lithium, and it takes two of them. These are not the cheapest to find, but these are the original batteries that I've had in this. Um, so they're still going strong, and the beam is still super bright, and this thing is built like a tank. I really like Streamlight. I know there are other manufacturers out there, Olight and whatnot, but Streamlight has just been steadfast for me and I'm not going to abandon them now. So that is my kit light. Like, that's what goes in my go bag, um, my search and rescue bag, etc. and so forth. Finally, we have the keep at home. This is the odd duck of the group. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. This is the A5 by Axe Fury. <laughs> that is quite a name. Um, this is also a multifunction flashlight. Now, there are several neat features about this, and let's see if we can go over them quickly. So you've got your regular beam, and you got a bright beam. You know, you can do that. You also have, let me see if I can get the strobe to work. This is the one thing about it that I think is funky. Um, you can... Turn, there we go. There's the strobe. Depending on how long you hold the power button down is what effect you'll get. It has a fast strobe, a slow strobe, an SOS mode. There's the low beam, there's the high beam, and then it's off. What you also get is a floodlight. Let me turn that to the side. You can see that it shoots down, and there's two power levels for that too. So 
The button's a little bit confusing, but you're also getting a lot of functions available. This also features a really strong magnet in the rear, so you can stick this up against a metal wall or a refrigerator and use this flood function to light up a room if necessary. I've even stuck this to my front door, which happens to be metal, and it works extremely well. Another really cool thing about this particular light, when I ordered it, there were two options. You could just have AAA or rechargeable. This is a rechargeable battery. You don't plug it into a charger. You plug a USB-C cable into the end of it. And this glows red or green to tell you whether it's charged or not. However, you can also use a AA battery in this. It doesn't have to be this rechargeable. So they call this dual fuel, which I guess technically is correct. You have a rechargeable battery or you can put double A in here either will work just as well this has been extremely helpful around my home especially when there's power outages and things like that so that's why I say this is my keep at home light um, now I did actually get this one for free in exchange for a review a long time ago and I just held on to it because it was so dang useful so there you go we got the Axe Fury, the StreamTac Pro ProTac, I'm sorry, Streamlight ProTac HL, and the Streamlight MicroStream. Those are my recommended flashlights for whatever needs you might have. I will have affiliate links in the video description. That'll wrap it up for this video. Thank you for joining me. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and remember, when it comes to tech, I've got you covered.